Good morning folks, it's time for another pick 10. I've just given my sticks a good mix up, although they are a bit crammed in here. I need to do need to sort that out sometime. So let's crack on and see what we've got. Start us off. Add a texture paste. Oh, that's quite a good one to start. Makes a change, doesn't it? Right, let me get my texture paste and bits and bobs and I'll be back. Right, I'm going to do a bit of experimenting. I don't know how this will work. I'm going to grab some modelling paste, texture paste, put it on there. Um, I don't know how much I'm going to need, maybe a little bit more than that. And I'm going to put some of the opal polish in and see. And I've never coloured. Um, texture paste before ever. Um, what could I use to scoop that out with? So I've never. So this is an experiment on two levels. A, I've never textured, um, never coloured texture paste, and B, I've never textured it with the um, Cosmic Shimmer Opal. So let's see. A, let's see if it does anything. First of all. Just, oh, I'm going to give it a bit of a mix. I don't know if you can see. Can you see what I'm doing? Yeah, you can. So, get that bit off there, I think. Now, to use a stencil or not, I was going to just see if I could put some texture on here without using a stencil so let's see something like this just for, just for fun I like the colour anyway I've got loads left, so I'm going to have to scoop some somewhere. I think I'm going to leave that. I don't want to put too much on there. So, what have I got? Have I got any... I've got an ATC card there and there. I could add a bit to. Let's try that. These are just um, a few napkins that I've got on... Um, make it a bit more dendritic or at least lumpy no idea what will happen to those but if you don't try you'll never know whether or not something could be successful right, I'm going to leave those to dry over here And I've got something, just a blank piece of card. I do, oh, it's not what I wanted, but it will do. Not quite. will do as well that can dry over here right let me clean up right, I've given that a good blast with the uh, heat tool and I think that's more or less dry not looking too bad quite like that does it look shimmery still mm, slightly I think the um, I think the texture paste has um, sort of I'm giving it a matte finish rather than the nice shiny. That was blue lavender or something I'll put in there. But it is a lovely colour. Right, let's have another stick. I'll use a jelly plate or plastic to add paint. Um, I don't think I fancy getting my jelly plate out, so I'm going to add some some paint with some plastic. I've used one of this, it's a plastic um, folder, but I was um, using it for the same technique. 
um, the other day. Right, let me get something. I'm going to stick in a in a kind of blue tone, I think. So let me go and get some blue paint. A couple of different blues here. Um, mm -mm -mm. What are we going to do? I don't know. Is the answer? I don't really want to water that down too much. Let's see. Let's just smush it in there and see what happens. That's a bit too much of it at the moment. I think that is going to be too. Is it though? Too thick. Um, what we need is something to. Let's try that. Do you know what I'm going to do? That's quite thick. That bit there. I'm going to just cut my folder in half and see what happens with this bit because it's not quite as much paint. That's nice. I like that. Do a little bit more. Don't want to ruin this lovely blue but it's nice to um, fill up some of that white space. And I like that it's not too um, dense as well. It's quite um, quite light. Might have a go with another colour actually. Let's leave that to one side. Oh, I love that on there. I wonder if I can pull a print off of that. Probably not, but oh, not bad. Look at that. Mm, I like that. And let's have a try with some other colour. Slightly less dark blue. Mm, let's see what happens here. Let's go lightly because it looks like there's a lot of paint on there. effect that this is giving there. A little bit different to usual. Right, I'm just going to try and use up some of this to cover the white but I don't want it all to go because again the contrast is nice. I like that. Right, let's pop that to one side. Let's bring back these. Now I didn't dry these so that texture paste is still wet so this is probably going to make a bit of a hot mess, but why not give it a go? Oh my gosh, look at me. Probably going to have to have a bath between this and the next take. Let's try that one. I don't like wasting things though, so if we've got paint... I might as well use it up. Oh, I'm going to start with that one. I thought I had another one. I do. Look here. Right. I'll stop there. I'm going to have a massive clean up, guys, and then I'll be back. I haven't even got a clean finger to turn the camera off. Right, we're a bit tidier, a bit cleaner here. This is dried. And uh, let's pick another stick. Right, I'm not looking when I pick the sticks, but they're hard to move around. So I'm just like picking one from the outside, one from the in. And oh, use gelatos. Okie doke. Um, I wonder what I did with those. There they are. Those are a bit too pastel. Right, we have a couple of blues. Um, I think I'm going to just do some around the edge and then I'll perhaps blend it in. So, just and down here. 
a little bit of the darker I'm going to use a baby wipe, I think, to blend that in. Oops. Shall I see on it? Give us a bit of a, a darker border, quite like that. There, that will do. It's gone quite dark. Just clean my fingers and I'll clean that. Right, let's put those away, give ourselves a bit of space. Right, do I need to dry that? I don't know. Let's see what comes up next. Add an image with a homemade stamp. Wow. Right, let's see what we can do with this. This needs to be a bit flatter if I'm going to stamp anything, I think. Let's see what we can... Oh, I've left my stamps out. That's good. What have we got? I have got a fish, actually, there. I wonder if that would work. That could be quite good. Then that would be a bit like an underwater... Oh, I've got two fish. Right. Let's have a look. I like those. And I wonder what colour we could do those. That would stand out on there because that is quite dark. Could try for metallics like gold or silver. I'm half inclined to try. Oh, I could try distress ink, that's another thing I could use, and that would probably go down quite well. What have we got? What colours have we got that will stand up against that? think I might try something quite oh seedless preserves can't go wrong with a bit of seedless preserves can you I don't think there's any point trying to put yellow or anything too pale down right I've got barn door and I've got seedless preserves and it's going to be a bit strange we'll try it out and if it doesn't work then we'll find a way of covering it up so let's have a look. Oh, what's it going to be? Not too shoddy. Have a couple of those, I think. Oh, I quite like those. Mm. Just that fish. Now that fish goes in a different direction. Well, that's good. Let's have three of these together down here. Oh, I like those a lot. And they were just made with um, a die cut and um, 3D not 3D foam, you know what I mean, just foam sheets. So I cut out two and stuck the one on top of the other and stuck them to a piece of packaging. So that was good. Right, am I going to go green or am I going to, I've got red, but I'm thinking, I don't know. I think I'm going to, I'm going to go red. Let's see what happens. don't think it will turn out too red on there anyway. Let's have a look and see. The great thing about these pick tens is you have no idea what direction you're headed in and then 
you know, you do something a bit blue, you pick out a stamp, and next thing you've got like a tropical fish tank. Certainly didn't have that in mind when I started this morning. I think I'm just going to put that one up there as well. I don't want to overload it. There. I like that. Let's pop those back in their place. On the carousel. And that one can go there. Right. Let's just clean that up a bit. Right, I'm gonna leave those little fishes out to dry over there. Right, should we give that a blast with a heat? No, let's see what let's see what comes next. Haven't had that random number stamp yet. Oh, and add random words. Um do I leave that or do I do it as we go? What do you think, folks? What shall I do? I might add them as we go along. Let's stick to the theme. Right, one sec. Right, I have somewhere, I've cut out two words from some magazines. I have got superheroes and wild. I'm going to stick those down. Now, do I want to edge them or do I, I think I'm just going to pop them on and and again cut out in my usual fantastic way crooked as Maggie would say as crooked as a dog's hind leg mine are definitely more crooked than that what could mine be more crooked than a spider's leg on a windy day Sorry, Tina, I mentioned the S word. All right, just going to glue these on. Hopefully, they will stick. Um, wild superheroes, that could go there. There we go. Right, let's tie pick another stick and let's have that one. Use sprays? No, no. I don't want to use spray. I've got too much going on there. Right, make an executive decision. We're not having sprays. Use a stencil. Oh, it's going to keep throwing these things at me, isn't it? Right, where are my stencils? I know what we could do. Now, I'm thinking somewhere on my hideous desk is some white paint. Yes, there is. And what I need is some sponge. Um, I wonder where I put that. That is method. Here is some sponge. I'm just going to cut a bit off. Sorry for the noise. Right, I'm going to have a go at making some bubbles. I wonder if my sponge needs to be wet. It's quite, I don't know. We shall see. Right, so the white. I'm just going to be, well, that's good, I've only got a little bit of paint on there, let's see what happens now. I'm actually getting any paint through the stencil, that is the question. 
Hmm, I think that could be a no. Um, let's try again. Let's just try down here. Well, you can't really see it, but maybe that's a good thing. We don't want to ruin everything with them. Um, let's turn that round. Come here, come here. I mean, I know you can't really see it, but I'm actually quite pleased with that. Want a few in there? Not really. Don't really want any of them. But... Oh, that will do, I think. Right, clean up time. I'll stick that on there. Does that do anything on there? Probably not. Yes, but it doesn't really look like. Anything. Right, that will do for that. Quite an interesting technique on there. Right, well, let's try try on here. I'm just going to use up this sponge and that adds a bit of texture to that. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing, probably not. Just hear me chuntering along over here. I'm just sticking some of that on the um oh now that's something I've just noticed. That's napkin and that is not enjoying being wet. So I'm going to leave that there. It's pulling up. Okay, so we've added a bit of, where have we gone, right. oh, I might have to go and get cleaned up again in a minute, so we did use a stencil in the end, right let's see what else we've got, use cosmic shimmer, well, I did already use it but we could use a bit. Oh, I know what we could do. Right, yes, that would work fine. Let's see what we've got. Apologies if I just whack the table there. It's the opal. And I'm going to go for, not silver, where's my gold? I'm going for those two. And a brush, I think, because I've had an idea. I'm going to put the Cosmic Shimmer in the fish. And I'm going to see, see what happens with it anyway. I'm just going to paint it in this oops, section here. I'm thinking I probably might have to dry those. I don't think the fish have dried. Let's dry it first because I'm going to get a lot of smudging otherwise. Back in a sec. Right, that's had a bit of a dry. Let's try again. It might just be that these are going to react anyway with the... Um, I don't know what they're called. Stress inks. It looks like they are. Now I'm just going to. It's not going to hurt anyway. So I thought I'd just put the cosmic shimmer. And it does work, you can see it shimmering.
in the fish's body. I love tropical fish. I really do. I used to have we used to have them when I was um young in the seventies and then I think I don't know what happened to them, but then um for my mum and dad's silver wedding anniversary we bought them a fish tank with um fish in again. Which they had for many years. Yeah, I'm thinking that looks quite nice. I don't know if you can see the shimmeriness on that. And I'm going to try gold in that bit there. And this gold is the opal gold, and it's quite. Um, that's the word. It's not too brassy and bright. It's quite uh, a gentle gold. I'm going to turn it round, otherwise I'm going to end up sticking my hand in what I've just done. Start it there. Oh, I like that. Oops, a bit too much there. Let's go over here. I want to eke this bit out. <laughs> there we go. There, that will do. There's over there. There. I don't know if, can you see this shimmery shimmer? Nice. Right, we've got three, seven there. Let's go for another one. Add dots. Add dots. What constitutes a dot, I wonder? Oh, I know what I could use. Oh, I bet I can't find it. I'm looking for my white paint. Let me just, let me stand up and have a look. Because I think I've got a white, there it is. Paint marker. And let's just see if anything comes out. Yes, it does. Right. These are my dots. Can't see them, but they're there. more so that we can see them right there we go might not be the most prominent of dots, but they're dots, and they're on there. Oops. Right, next one. Let's see what we've got here. Use three colours of acrylic paints. No, not even that. So there. Use some patterned paper. I can't keep throwing these out, or can I? Yes, I know there's a big pause. That's my brain thinking. Am I going to throw that away or am I going to work with it? I don't know if I want to work with it. Three, 
six, seven, eight. That's I'm putting that like that. I don't know. It may get dumped again. Add a border. I don't even want to do that particularly. I like what I've got. I can't keep pulling sticks out though. Well, I can. I can do what I like. But it just it kind of defeats the whole object if I keep pulling things out and not using them. So maybe I should use those. Maybe I could use some patterned paper to make a border. I don't feel like I want to. But I will. Okay, three, six, nine, ten. That's it then. I won't I won't grumble. I'm gonna get some patterned paper and I'm gonna use it to make a kind of border. Alright, and I'll be back. Right, I've got this lovely sheet of collage paper and I think I'm going to use it to try and make some weed up the, uh, at the uh, side of the, I don't know quite how to go about it. Right, uh, that's my border, will be some weed of some kind. And I'm just going to... What I might do is do a few bits and overlap them. See what that looks like. I literally don't have an idea. Let's just do a few bit, a few fronds, as it were. Uh, do something with that one. Let's try down here. Let's just cut some things out and see where we go. That's an interesting one. Let's try that. Something like that. I suppose I could put a few bits down the bottom as well. Yeah, I could live with that, I think. I think I could. Um, yeah, I'm going to cut a few more of those. Keep going with that. We all know how much I like cutting things. Um, let's have, let's have, let's just have a, some little bits as well. doing honestly guys I really don't know <laughs> oh. now when you start something and you instantly think no nah, maybe that wasn't the best way to go right I think I might try and put some 
What have I got? Distress ink. I have got. I've got a green, a dark green one somewhere. That no, not those. Must be that one. Might be helpful if I had a sponge. Does this make it better or worse? Slightly better, I think. Alright, so I know I'm going to do that. I might have to, probably be better to shape these first, wouldn't it? In case I need to do a bit of adjustment. Alright, that could go up there. And then we could have... Does that constitute a border? Well, today it does. I'm saying it does, so. Because I like what I've created and I don't want to ruin it by adding whatever it was it asked me to do. Sprays and three colours of acrylic paint. I don't fancy doing that. And since I have to live with it, I think I will decide what things create, what things... I can and can't do. Right, something like that down that side. Let's have a go at this one. No point making something you don't like. Or you don't want to keep in your book or anything. No. Let's have something up there. That one. bit similar is there a different that one maybe that would do not 100% sure that I am adding to it by putting the uh, distress ink on it at all let's put two let's have three down this side maybe that one there Bit of a one down there, right? That just executive decision. That's just going there. I'm not even going to bother putting the. I am going to bother because we can notice. You think you can't notice it, and then when you put it down, you think, nope. I can definitely tell there's no distress ink on that bit. That can go along there, and then we could do some little bits. I'll do those in a minute. Let's glue some stuff down before I change my mind. Um, oh, I'll stick with this glue. The only problem with it is it's a bit slow. Or maybe I'm a bit slow. Maybe, oh, yeah, it's stuck to me. And there's me wondering where it had gone. Well, let's stick that one. I don't really want to... Don't mind the fish hiding a little bit behind it. I'll have to chop those off those ends in a minute. Let's go up and speed this up a bit. Oh my goodness, I'm getting gluey bits everywhere get off me I've been attacked by glue dried glue honestly it won't come off get off there we go oh the glue will have dried by the time I get this thing down come on a bit like that might end up with a third bit now because Oh no. Crack on, Steph. People will have fallen asleep. Yes, my video is great for insomnia. I can go down there. 
was a smaller bit. I'm sure I had another piece. Quite where it's gone. I couldn't tell you. That hasn't got any ink on it. That wasn't the bit. No, that was the bit I was going to use, wasn't it? Because it had got that bit there. Right. I'm surprised I don't send myself to sleep with my droning. Okay, let's pop that on. We're going to go up there a bit. And we'll have this little one down the bottom. There we go. Go, 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 go. Don't really want to um, lose the fish, so I think that's that's my border. Nobody question that. And then we'll perhaps have a little bit of interest down the bottom, but I don't I don't want to obscure all those yumminess, the yummy fish. The fish could do with eyes, couldn't they? They're looking a bit ghostly. I'm just going to cut these ones because they're a bit fat, I think, and I think I can use them. For the sake of time, I'm not going to put distress ink on these ones. I think I'll just pop a few. Go like that. Oh, we could have a gap. We don't have to fill it. Same goes for this. Use this little bit. I think I'll just have a piece there. Right, these are a bit thick now, so um, what can I do with you? No idea. But we will just glue a few more on to give it a bit of interest at the bottom. It doesn't say it has to be a full border, it just says a border. And this is my definition of a border. Today, next week, could be totally different. I uh, quite like those bits. I am now just sticking all the, like, the scrappy bits that I cut down. Like that. Cut that bit off because I might be able to reuse that. And I think uh, I think I'm gonna to stop there in a minute. That will do whatever I said there. All right, let's chop the ends off and then see what it looks like. Let's put my pin in that. there not awful I think hopefully I rescued that before it went a bit awry now I might get a pen out and um, I don't want to give the fish some nouveau drop eyes actually I might do that should I go around it with a black pen should I go around the fish with a black pen should I go around the weed with a black pen what say you? I might do. I might go around the fish. I 
I've only, I've only got um, what do you call it? An, a point not point two pen, so it's not going to be anything that stands out too much. But I thought it might just help the fish. Although it doesn't really show up, does it? Let's be honest. Let's go up a. Let's go up to a point three. See how we go. Slightly better. Oops, excellent Stephanie, excellent. Straight through the reed, the weed. It does pay to, you know, it does pay to keep an eye on what you're doing rather than just draw without thinking. I think what I will do is give the fish some eyes. I might use some enamel dots for that. Pen doesn't really want to work on here. They're not the best pens to work on uh, paint. I don't want a great big thick line around them either. Yeah, I think that will do. They do stand out a little bit more like that. Do I want to put some around the weed? Just going to try down. Oh, the pen doesn't want to work at all now. Hang on. Perhaps I will just. Isn't ruining it. Which one that on top? This one did. There we go. I'm not going to be too fussy about this anyway. This one went on top. Oh, that is actually better if I draw on the weed rather than by the side of it. But oops, need some more glue on that little bit. There, I think that looks a little bit better. Oh my goodness, got a pen, can't stop. Stop, stop, stop. Something is coming off on my hand. Yes. Well, that hasn't dried terribly well, has it? So I'm getting distress ink everywhere. Probably you could see that and you were there saying, just stop, stop already. And I've just ploughed on. Anyway. That's a shame. Never mind. Never mind. Right, I am stopping in a second. I'm just going to get some enamel dots. I've got white and I have black. And I'm going to give the fish some eyes. 
and then I'm done, I promise. Let's just see if, yes, it's coming out. Probably this is going to ruin it, make them look really spooky or something, but. I'm going to try it. Oh, well, that's not um, held its shape very well. Maybe I should have done Nouveau drops. Right, here we go. Okay, I'm just going to touch the black into the white. Give the fish a pupil. There. <laughs> they look a bit silly, don't they? But that's it. I'm stopping now. I'll tell you what I will do, and I'm not going to do it now because I've got um, enamel dots, but I probably will just go around the edge with some dark blue distress ink, just particularly at the bottom here. Um, but that's it, that's my pick 10, or pick however many I picked, 12 and discard 2. Maybe that's what I should call it. Pick what you want, discard what you want. Anyway, there we go, that is it folks. Sorry to keep you, hope you're still in the land of the living at the end of that. Have a lovely Sunday and I'll be back again soon. Bye for now.